everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've been wanting to test these Everest watch straps, watch bands, uh, forever. Uh, and I finally pulled the trigger on one. Uh, for you, those who don't know, these are like very custom made rubber uh, Rolex and I think they do a few other brands, but mainly Rolex straps. Uh, this uh, rubber band for my Explorer cost $220. So let's see if it's worth that. Right off the bat, the packaging is kind of, I mean, design-wise, it's kind of cool, but I would expect a little nicer for $220. Um, inside, that's all you get. You get your two individual straps in these plastic little cases uh, because it, it matches them, as you can see here. This one is for five links. This one's for six links. Uh, you have to order the link size that matches what you're trying to uh, replace on your watch. So you have to pre-count uh, your uh, size links that you're removing. Um, I mean, it's nice that they come in these with the, as you can see, the spring bar already included on it. Um, but for $220, all you get is a little plastic bag. I mean... I'm not blown away yet. I'm sure the rubber is beautiful, but I can't see this. I mean, obviously that's the five link one. I can't see this being um, worth the 220 right off the bat, but we'll, we'll see. So here we are attaching it. Uh, first, you're gonna wanna use one of these tools to release your spring bars from the back of your case. Obviously put some tape on it if you're afraid of the little fine scratches. This is my watch, I'm gonna wear it forever, not sell it, so I don't really mind. Um, once you pop those spring bars out, it's sometimes hard to tell if they're fully out, but if you give it a little tug like this, it'll pop right out and you'll, you'll see. Um, make sure you're attaching the right strap for the five links on the five link side, the six links on the six link side. Uh, that seats in super easily. Um, looks good so far. Repeat the process on the other side. You'll get the hang of it once you've done it. Um, reattach that strap, again, matching up the right five to five, six uh, to six. Um, once you get that in there, it's very easy to just kind of seat it in. You want to make sure it's leaning in that case properly because they are fully fitted, so you don't really have too much wiggle room. But yeah, it'll pop down just like that super easily. Um, then all you need to do is, uh, looks great so far though, you need to just take your clasp, unscrew it from each side because you use your own clasp for this model. Um, once you get those screws out, they slide out super easily. Keep those because you're going to need to reuse them. Um, do it on both sides. Uh, and then you're just going to attach this as if you were putting it back on your regular bracelet. Um, there's obviously more detailed instructions on Everest website. This is just showing you how I did it real quick. Um, but it was very simple. Yeah, and now you just take the clasp, you line it up with the rubber, and you screw that back in. Uh, very, very easy. I, I think anyone can do this. Uh, the question is just, is it worth your money to do this or should you be buying a cheaper model from somewhere else? Okay, so here it is on the Rolex. Um, I mean, quality wise, it feels very nice. Um, interestingly, it was, I would say fractionally bigger than my bracelet because the five by six links that I have for my bracelet, I always have to wear the extra half link out to be comfortable this i could actually put that half link back in and it's still a little bit uh larger so sizing wise it was it's slightly bigger um overall value though is this worth 220 dollars i i don't think so i like that it's you know very custom to the rolex you could put your clasp on it all that kind of stuff awesome wonderful um but i i don't think that's 200 dollars worth man you know truly like let me throw it on the wrist for you here i think it's nice looking you know i i think it wears you know quite nice quite beautifully um but i think there's a lot of brands that make similar products that you can get for a whole lot less and you'll have the exact same result you know I reached out to Everest to try to demo one of these for all you guys. Couldn't even get a response from their customer service. Um, I don't know if that's just because I was asking to work with them or not, but I, I don't know if I would recommend you spending $220 on a, a rubber bracelet for any watch. You know, now that I have it, I'll use it. It'll be fun in the summer and, you know, in the water and that kind of stuff. But um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know if I could sign off on Everest and give them my, my thumbs up. I think this is a lot of money for a product that I, I don't know if you're getting fully what you want out of it. For $220 to come in a little paper bag, basically. You know, I, I think you can do better, and I would recommend maybe shopping around before you decide on this product. Um, all in all, um, yeah. If you want to try them, go for it. Um, I guess their thought is if you own a Rolex, you're willing to spend $220 on a rubber strap, but yeah, I don't know if that's me, so. All in all, really think out this purchase before you do it. Um, I'll update you guys if I change my view, but yep, that's uh, my review here on whether I think Everest watch bands are worth it.